Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you uh, very much for joining uh, our webinar today. Uh, my name is Claudia Bielinska, and today with my colleague Michał Belicki, we would like to invite you uh, for a short introduction uh, about Criodias, and um, and we'll uh, give you uh, some hints and tips how to use um, funding opportunities uh, to access Criodias uh, cloud services. Um, so, excuse me. Uh, so uh, today agenda for our webinar uh, is the introduction to Criodias. Uh, perhaps some of you uh, are already Criodias users. Uh, some of you maybe are not. Uh, so I will show you uh, just in a few slides what is Criodias about. Uh, I will show how uh, what tools do we have uh, for science and research. Uh, then um, just a short inspiration, uh, some use cases, uh, how Criodias was used by research and development uh, institutions. And then we will move uh, to the uh, core of our uh, webinar, funding opportunities. Um, so first of all, Criodias. Uh, Criodias is a cloud platform uh, with enormous uh, satellite data repository. Uh, so, um, we can say that uh, we can divide Criodias into Criodias por portal, uh, where you can find uh, our tools, EO Browser and EO Finder. Uh, then, we will, when we will move deeply, we go to a Cloud Dashboard, and then we can use Cloud Services. Uh, so, um, Criodias was developed uh, under the uh, European, um, European Space Agency um, uh, program. Uh, from foundings from ESA from uh, from EU, and uh, the data which you can find on Criodias, they are coming from Copernicus scientific program. Uh, so, so all of the uh, Sentinel collections are available there, and you can make a good use um, of them for your projects. Um, Criodias is a data repository and also a great environment for the data processing and for the data storage. Uh, so, depending uh, what are you going to do on Criodias, uh, you can choose uh, virtual, mach virtual machines uh, tailored for your needs. Uh, so, with the very fast processors, uh, with a, a good and uh, with a big um, data repository and with a big um, catalog uh, for storing uh, your data. Um, so, um, whenever we are talking about cloud services, uh, so. Um, uh, we, we should we should indicate that uh, it's data computing, uh, data processing, storage, and then uh, you can also disseminate uh, the data um, of your um, of your work of your processes. Um, so um, why choosing cloud uh, for research and development projects? Um, I can say from my previous experience when I was working uh, at some uh, scientific uh, organizations that whenever we were um, obtaining, when, when, whenever we were getting some funds for the project uh, and concerning also big data, we were finding for the best solution to process the data and to store the data. Uh, so it was just, um, uh, it was, uh, the cloud was the best solution for it because uh, we didn't have to uh, buy special, uh, specific servers, special, specific computers. Uh, but uh, with the equipment, with our hardware uh, on board, we could access uh, in a really easy way the cloud and then uh, make a good advantage uh, of the potential of the cloud. So um, if only your projects require fast and efficient processors and large scal scalable data storage, if you are using for your project satellite data, uh, if you are processing big data, the cloud is uh, the answer uh, for your needs. Uh, so what Criodias, Criodias offers? At one point, we are offering cloud uh, with the data storage, data catalog and processing environment. On the other hand, you can also uh, use cloud, uh, but also with the data repository. Uh, so depending on your project and depending uh, what do you attend, um, intend to do. Mm. Uh, so whenever we are talking about data uh, collection, uh, we should emphasize that the data collection, which is um, on, which is available on Criodias, it's a um, great data collection because first of all we have the Copernicus data, uh, so it's a Sentinel mission, 
Uh, so starting from uh, the uh, radar Sentinel, so Re Sentinel-1, then Sentinel-2, Sentinel-3. Um, I'm sure that all of you know that uh, Sentinel has different uh, resolutions. So the bands are divided, so you can choose uh, if you're uh, using the data, processing the data on 10, uh, 20 or 60 meter resolution. Uh, so, um, the, so we have the full archive of Sentinel uh, data and uh, the data re are really up to date um, all of the time. Uh, then we have also Sentinel-5P, uh, so the data for atmospheric um, purposes. And also we have data from Landsat satellite, uh, even from uh, 1984 year. But uh, the only operating satellite uh, from Landsat is uh, Landsat 8. Uh, so uh, from 2000, uh, 2013 year uh, until now, we have all of the data available. And uh, also uh, data from Envisat and SMOS satellites. Um, then, um, it's also uh, good to know that uh, within the Copernicus scientific program, uh, there are created a specific uh, Copernicus services. Uh, so uh, these services are dedicated for uh, specific uh, purposes like atmosphere uh, monitoring, emergency um, land uh, monitoring and marine. Uh, so within, this, within, those, uh, within those services, you can find specific data collections and data processed uh, for the uh, purposes um, of this um, of your needs, uh, let's say. Uh, what other data collections you can find on CryoDias? So you can find uh, digital elevation models. Uh, so uh, here on CryoDias, we have uh, four different uh, digital elevation models. Uh, so um, they are available uh, accessing uh, through S3 or NFS protocol. Uh, so you can find them and uh, use them on the CryoDias cloud. We have also data from uh, JSON3. So these are the ultimate, ultimate data. And uh, we, have also, um, we have also data uh, S2GLC, so Sentinel-2 Global Land Cover. Uh, this is the classification of uh, Sentinel-2 data, and um, later on I will tell you more about uh, this data set. Um, to fulfill some gaps and to uh, fulfill needs of our users, uh, we came up with an idea uh, to uh, present also and to give you possibility to make a use of um, very high resolution commercial data. Of course, when we say commercial, so it means that uh, for this data, uh, you have to pay um, to access the data. Uh, all of the data which I showed you previously, previously, so uh, Sentinel data and Sentinel services, these data are publicly available uh, for free for everyone. Um, but coming back to commercial data sets, uh, so we have the, um, the data which are available are the data from a Chinese uh, satellite, uh, Jilin-1, uh, from uh, Kazeosat, so, uh, so satellite from Kazakhstan, and also uh, Korean uh, Comsat um, satellite. Uh, so here you can see that the resolution of the data is completely different from Sentinel. So here we can uh, indicate some centimeters uh, resolution up to four meter resolution. Uh, for uh, these data are very good for specific uh, purposes. Uh, for detecting um, smaller uh, parts, uh, small buildings, uh, or um, uh, other different uh, features uh, on the imagery. Um, CryoDS offers a um, variety of tools uh, which can be uh, used uh, by science. Uh, so first of all, uh, when you access our CryoDS portal, you can find them, uh, you can find their EO browser and EO Finder. So EO Browser is a specific application dedicated for browsing the data. Uh, so you can search the data uh, for a specific area. Uh, you can uh, visualize the data and you can also uh, change the visualization um, from um, using different bands. Uh, you can download uh, the imagery from EO Browser, uh, but it's not going to be downloaded as a full data set, as a full Sentinel data set, but it will be downloaded uh, as an uh, uh, EMG um, file. So just a visualization. Uh, but then uh, we have also EO Finder. Uh, so this application 
uh, is for finding and downloading the data to your computer. Uh, so um, we see that some of our CreoDIAS users, uh, the users are divided into groups. So the one group is a real CreoDIAS cloud user. Uh, so the users are um, not downloading the data to their computer, but uh, using the data uh, in the cloud. So accessing the, the, the data in the cloud, processing them in the cloud. Uh, but um, other users prefer to download the data to, uh, to them, their computers and process the data uh, in a specific um, software. Um, so depending on your needs. Um, but when you're using cloud environment, uh, the first, uh, let's say, um, step is a cloud dashboard. So cloud dashboard allows you uh, to uh, launch virtual machines, uh, to choose different flavors for your virtual machines, uh, to see how the uh, data are being processed uh, on your virtual machine. Um, CreoDias uh, is also a great place uh, for uh, different third uh, third party applications. So uh, for example, we have a S2Scenes application where you can um, preview some Sentinel data in 2D and also, uh, which is in use, uh, in 3D uh, visualization. Um, on CreoDias, uh, is, um, Jupyter Notebook is also available. Um, so for uh, those of you who are uh, using uh, scripts, who are um, writing scripts in Python, Jupyter Notebook is a very good place uh, for um, doing that. Um, yes, EO Finder, which I uh, mentioned about. Uh, so um, this application uh, is for finding and downloading the data. So you can indicate uh, area of interest uh, for the data set you are looking for. Uh, you can uh, upload a polygon. So for example, from another uh, project, the polygon, which will indicate specific area. Uh, you can indicate the time when the data was acquired or the time when the data was published online. You can indicate the cloud coverage and also the data collection of the data, data sets which you are looking for. So um, the full collection of Sentinels, uh, Landsat, and also S2GLC uh, data sets. Um, so you can visualize the data, you can download the data, and then make a good use of the data for your projects. And the Jupyter Notebook, uh, so the uh, free prototyping tool, uh, you can uh, write your scripts in Jupyter Notebook and then uh, use them for um, data processing. Uh, it's inter interactive uh, processing environment, and from uh, Jupyter Notebook here on CreoDIAS, you have direct, direct access to Earth Observation uh, Data Repository. Uh, so I think that uh, overall, um, um, overall look of CreoDIAS uh, is really, um, I would say, friendly for different users and for different uh, purposes. Um, um, it's worth mentioning that uh, CreoDIAS uh, has uh, over 5,000 of users. Uh, so from uh, different sectors, uh, from different fields and from different countries. Um, but here you can see just, uh, just a part of our customers and partners. Uh, so uh, you can see that we are cooperating with European Space Agency, ECMWF, um, universities, uh, research and development organizations, um, uh, universities worldwide, and uh, different uh, space agencies. Uh, so uh, customers and partners are using our environment for their projects uh, in different um, areas. Um, to, to, to inspire you how you can, uh, how you can use CreoDias, I would like to show you two examples uh, of specific projects which were uh, developed on the CreoDias platform. So first project is to, uh, S2GLC uh, land cover classification. The, so the land cover classification, uh, which was performed on uh, Sentinel-2 dataset, it was performed in uh, 2017 by Space Research Center, Polish Academy of Science. Uh, it is a very detailed uh, classification of uh, Sentinel data. Uh, so here we can see um, the data set divided into classes. 
And uh, what is uh, what is important that this data set is available for free for everyone on CreoDesk platform. Uh, so if you are um, if you need some classification data set uh, for your project for uh, for your projects, uh, you can use the data set um, from Sentinel two S two GLC. Another project, which was also uh, developed in Poland. Uh, by um, Institute of Geodesy and Cartography Space Research Center. And uh, the users of this project were um, the main statistical office and the agency of um, for restructuring and, uh, uh, and manufacturing of agriculture. Uh, so um, let's say paying, ag paying agency. Uh, that was a project EOSTAT. Uh, so um, in this project, um, the classification of uh, Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 uh, data uh, was done, was performed. Uh, so uh, as far as I know, that was an um, uh, object classification and um, thematic, thematic, so thematic classification. Uh, so um, the intention of this project was to perform classification year by year and then uh, to uh, see uh, this classification was done to see differences between crops uh, every year. Uh, so it was uh, after the data set were, um, were processed, were classified, it was easy to compare the data uh, with each other and to see how the environment, how the crops changed over um, the years. Uh, so these are only two projects uh, which were developed on CreoDias. Uh, so um, we know that our customers are um, receiving funds from European um, Space Agency and other uh, possible um, institutions, uh, and they are developing their projects uh, on our platform. Platform uh, with a big success. Mm, so um, that was all from my part, and then uh, the core of our presentation: funding opportunities. Okay, thank you, Claudia, for this presentation of um, Creodias functionalities. And let me uh, switch to funding opportunities. So, in this part, um, I would like to briefly uh, present you um, how we uh, cooperate on a daily basis with uh, scientific institutions and other uh, customers and. Um, First of all, I would would like to uh, show you briefly what we offer for you. Um, I would like to uh, introduce the OCRE initiative um, for scientific institutions and uh, and mention uh, other finding opportunities, uh, funding opportunities that uh, may be useful. Um, when you are uh, looking uh, for uh, financing for your projects. Um, so first of all, all the services that uh, Claudia presented to you, like EU Finders, Jupyter Notebooks and so on, they are available for free on uh, CreoDias pla Creodeus Creo platform. And uh, you can simply go to creodeus.eu and uh, register or log in if you have an account and start using the Earth Observation data and uh, find your, your browser and Jupyter Notebook on the spot. And this is just something we provide free of charge for all users. Then um, we have um, uh, infrastructure as a service. Um, so we offer virtual machines, um, uh, object storage, block storage, and so on, data transfer, Mm, and um, all these services are supported with our um, comprehensive and professional support, which is also uh, available free of charge. Uh, and uh, we provide a rich knowledge base for this sub for these uh, services. So in case you are you don't know how to start using the services or you need some even technical advice. Uh, this is something we also provide on a daily basis uh, manage, wh while uh, while uh, providing you the services. And uh, the uh, important uh, message is that you can start testing the services, even the commercial one, free of charge, uh, even now, because we provide free credits um, to our customers 
it's uh, 150 euro worth credits. Uh, so for instance, that we allow you to use an EO1X medium virtual machine for, for a year or or some more uh, more intensive, uh, do some more intensive processing for uh, several weeks um, or to test the storage solution. So you can test all, 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 uh, all our offer free of charge just uh, by registering to Creodias and applying for free credits with which we will be happy to provide you with. Okay, there is a Okri uh, cloud research and um, open cloud for research environments. This is the initiative that aims to demonstrate the um, positive impact that, that cloud and digital services have um, on uh, have on research projects. And um, the main idea of the initiative is to show how the environment, uh, how, how the education and research project can use clouds, cloud to enhance the um, efficiency, to scale up the project, to use the uh, advanced analytics and machine learning um, and collaborative tools. Um, so um, they want to provide researchers with this access to commercial cloud and digital services and uh, and uh, drive the adoption of uh, services and simulate uh, European research and education community to use uh, cloud services. And there are two main paths. So one path is just for the cloud, uh, uh, cloud uh, uh, services for research product, projects. And there is a second path, so it's in parallel, uh, where uh, Earth observation related services are uh, financed. So, so on the one hand, you can finance the projects that are related to uh, Earth observation, but not only because this is, they are two parallel paths. Mm. And uh, this uh, funding is uh, available for in uh, 39 European countries. So, uh, and this is uh, directly for research and education community. So it's available through NREN organizations so national uh, um, uh, national centers for educational network, um, and uh, and they are free free waves. They call it waves in which you can apply for these resources. I mean, the the one wave is for individual researchers with the project. The second wave is for projects uh, managed by an institution. And the third wave is um, uh, for research, for the consortia of institutions. Of institutions. Um, and the, you can, in, in this, in this uh, project, OCRI project, you can apply for, for a voucher that will allow you to finance the project. Um, they are several uh, bundles, but it's usually depending on the wave for for which the project or the call is uh, dedicated. It's either fifty thousand or up to one hundred thousand euro. And the the important uh, issue is that it allows you to finance the cloud resources, but it uh, won't allow you to. Uh, we talk, it won't allow you to cover the person working hours. So this is just strictly vouchers to finance your infrastructural needs. Mm, and the, uh, the um, advantage of the Okra project is that this is quite easy and clear applying path for the, for the project. So in case you have an idea that can demonstrate how your project, per perhaps current, even currently existing, can leverage for using from using cloud resources. You can apply uh, for the credits, and this is and there is a formula on the website in which you uh, in which you can demo. Can, you can you need to briefly describe uh, how your project uh, will leverage from the cloud and what will be the goal of the project, and uh, then in a few months you will have the uh, answer, and uh, it's not. Uh, announced yet where when exactly there will be the next call it should be in in a in a few few months uh, fortunately 
next week, there's a webinar organized by um, OCRE um, Consortium. So you can uh, register at the, this webinar and they should next week announce the when there is uh, when the new new call for the project is is uh, uh, is going to happen but i really recommend this uh, this project since the, the they they are really let's say research friendly so you just they they are really seeking for an interesting project that can use cloud resources and uh, also the projects that are using Earth observation. But these are, let's say, two separate things that are happening in parallel. Then, um, in, in case you are using Earth observation data and you, um, for instance, are participating in ESA uh, project, you can apply for network of resources, um, uh, network of resources funding, and uh, there there are two fi fundings. First of all, uh, for ESA projects, you can apply for infrastructure uh, infrastructural uh, resources, and then alternatively, if you have some other needs uh, but you are not uh, backed by ESA, you can apply for some financing for from platform resources. Um, I see that I have not provided the link for, for the NORP uh, portal. I will do it later on in the chat in a few minutes. Um, then the, the more uh, traditional way to uh, apply for the resources is that we um, we provide you, uh, okay, I already mentioned the free uh, bundle of credits uh, that you can use for the for the purpose of your project, and um, and the um, free tools on our uh, Creodias platform. We also have special discount, eighteen and half percent for scientific institutions, and um, we are also happy to provide you some additional. Uh, um, discount in case your project is a long-term project or it's some kind of uh, it's some kind of partnership. And finally, if you have other ideas, we are very happy to uh, cooperate uh, in a different manner. For instance, we are uh, participating in several Horizon 2020 projects. We apply for grants from. Uh, uh, national and international research uh, centers. Um, we can um, um, we can provide you some uh, environment for testing if you have an idea. We also are able to uh, participate in uh, ISA or other uh, projects that needs uh, scientific that that needs cloud resource and. Uh, Mm, yes, and we are even able, in case you have some idea and you don't know how to finance it, we are able to help you with um, with uh, finding appropriate program for you. So I encourage you to, you know, to contact us and uh, we will see if we are able to uh, to provide you with Either uh, either some additional resources for the purpose of your project, or if we can uh, find, uh, or if we can um, um, find together some projects to cooperate on on a more partnership uh, basis. So uh, I think this is it. Uh, so this was very short introduction, and very short presentation of us, from us from our side. Uh, but let's uh, let's try to stay in touch and talk about your ideas and how we can support you in using Creodias uh, for your projects for your work. Um, so our emails, um, please yes. contact us. Yes, one more thing. In case you are interested more in details how to use Creodias, we have also published the the webinars with introduction to yes. how to technically use the Creodias and uh, on more technical issues. So we encourage you to.
to have a look at this. Of course. So pl please follow our uh, social media and stay tuned for uh, other upcoming webinars. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Bye. Bye-bye.